Hello there, welcome to the Kerbal Space Program. So you probably figured out by the description what this actually is, but this is my little rocket. I wanted to I've been wanting to test it out for a long while. This is the Lapwing Mach 1 center stage only. Light it's a light craft, it can lift about 30 tons to orbit. The biggest one can lift about 270 tons, I believe. But it's the payload I want to test today. So let's get the payload ready, shall we? In three, two, one. Up we go! Lapwing away! So, well we go up, up, and we'll see what's happening. Just uh, keep an eye on the speed. So, anybody want to know about launching rockets, this is how I do with them. About 100 meters per second, I lean the rocket over to about 10 degrees, and I hold there using SAS. And I maintain that until I hit 4,000 meters. Let's get to 4,000. Come on. Oh, yeah, I have a couple of mods installed. You may have noticed them. I have Scatter, which makes the lands look nice and fuzzy. And I have uh, Eve, the environmental visual something, which makes all the clouds nice and pretty. Now, at 5,000, I start rolling over a bit more. I take it to approximately 25 degrees, which is there, which I maintain all the way up to 10k when I begin the roll to standard 45 degrees. So let's just get the rocket going up. It is a very nice rocket though, you must admit. Look at that. Yes. There's the space center down there disappearing into the clouds. But at 10k, we start the roll over even further. We now roll all the way to 45 degrees ever so slowly, because the new aero will penalize you if you go too fast. So we roll to 45. There we go. In case you're wondering, this is actually uh, four mainsail engines clustered on bottom of some fuel tanks for uh, guaranteed thrust, shall we say. <laughs> So we're climbing quite rapidly. We are at 36 uh, kilometer apoaps at the moment, 40 kilometers, and we are burning through our fuel at a nice, healthy rate. Da -da 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 Rocket away! <laughs> 55, 57, good. We are climbing quite happily right now. Uh, we have a very good thrust weight ratio on this rocket. I can't tell you what they are right now, but we do have it. I'm just going to take it up to 100 kilometers, and we'll shut down the engines. Now, I'm going to destage this section because we don't need this section for the rotation. So off it goes. I will activate the engine and just move us away slightly. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, next thing is to time warp up da -da -da -da, to 100 kilometers. We're going up. We're going up. I'll just take that for a second. We can time up a little bit faster. God, the planets do look nice, don't they? With the uh, the scatter and the Eve mods. Okay, coming up to a hundred, and okay, there we go. Here we go. There we go. Let's begin circularization. Circularization, and go. Circularize me. Doesn't have to be exact. This is just a test run. We have plenty of fuel in this stage for the circularization burn. So we're just going to point slight down to keep the. Uh, our parts going up too high. Dun 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 And... and dun 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 Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The payload, I wait. I want to see the payload, but we can't do that until we have an orbit. We need an orbit. And I don't want the orbit to be around... There we go. Boop. 84. Good. That's good orbit. That is a good orbit. Now let's just check the map. Where are we right now? We are there. At... Uh, 100 and the okay I want to bring that so we got 84 there and we got 100 there okay I'm happy with that I am actually happy I, we can deal with that later so the first things first let's just get rid of this stage here okay let me just switch cameras to free because I really do like the free camera for this piece and let's say goodbye to the engine goodbye engine <laughs> and there she is <laughs> the TX 03 MK2 in orbit. I know it's probably the point of the most dramatic ways I could have done the staging, but you were probably thinking, I know what he'll do. Let's just uh, deploy my solar panel so we don't lose power. You were probably thinking, he's going to stage and they're going to have confetti coming off. Well, that was the original plan, but that was so much more fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we are. So, in case you're wondering, this plane is not, I repeat, not space capable. It can not fly in space. It's a jet engine. But what it can do is it's got an RCS pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it round and I want to bring it round to whoop, about here. 
And we'll begin the deorbit burn so we come down in the daytime. So we'll do it there. Warp me there, please. Warping. Warp, warp. I do love that warp 2 feature. It is an absolutely beautiful feature. We got an overheat warning on the solar panels as well. That would have been due to the... Uh, being up. I can't do it quite yet. Uh, time warp must stop. Time warping. Come on. You can't, you can't bring it up when the time warp's going. But the heat could dissipate. Oh my god, the heat's dissipating. <gasps> okay, time warp complete. And, can I wait? No? Aww. Du -du -du. Show me the physics thermal overlay. No. Oh. Okay, apparently I broke it. Never mind. <laughs> So let's point this craft, there we go, point it forward, we are now pointing prograde, and we're just going to quickly make sure we can time warp, I'm going to pick it down about here, boop, boop, warp me forward to maximum warp, <laughs> and T minus, okay that's that's good enough, that's good enough, point me forward, and begin our D orbit burn, now keep an eye on that orbit, 88 and 118, if we activate ask yes and we activate reverse thrust, we are going to go down. So let's go down. Dun, 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 dun. Whoops. D N. That's the one. N. Go. Time warp me. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. We're going to bring the periaps down to around 60. No, let's go first. Let's go, let's go down to 40. Da 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 and time warp off. Um, let's see where we are going to be deorbiting. We will be deorbiting there into the deck. I think not. Um, <laughs> point retro. RCS thrusters in full reverse. Da 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 Do they keep working in here? They do. Okay, good. Keep the thrusters going. Uh, alt. Time warp. I want to bring it down to into the daylight back here if we can. So I need a fairly decent uh, run. That should be all right, right? We'll put about 20 kilometers there. Then ah, that'll be fine. Look at that for a deorbit. The cat. Nothing could possibly go wrong with that deorbit burn. So da 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 da. All I can say is let's get rid of the, the monoprop. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Monoprop. You've done your daily job, but we don't need you anymore. We are going flying. <laughs> Here we come. Dun 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 Airplanes at the ready. Okay, here we go. Oh, we have a little bit of a. Uh, Colour coding there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Probably one of these two, the planet shine or the ambient light. One of the two, most likely. But let's take it in. Woo! Probably not that much. The question is can she withstand a re entry? It's never been tested on the plane like this before. Not something so small, anyway. So we'll find out. 58. Usually start seeing problems around the 30 kilometre mark, is my usual experience. So um, this is actually quite a fairly steep descent as well for a plane of its size. Come on, I can't barely hear anything, so I'm assuming something's happening. Uh, let's cut the throttle, power up the engine. There we go, and we are good to go. Okay, let's put the nose on prograde, bring it down. Da 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 Okay, here we go. So we are indeed re-entering right now. We are coming down, and let's see if we can see if we can survive it. So let's. I was to put it on retro uh, program, but let's leave it on uh, manual. We'll keep an eye on it manually. We are doing over a thousand meters per second. There is land over there. I'm just going to tilt the nose ever so slightly that way, just like that, and that will allow us to turn towards the land. Although it may fry the landing gear, I don't know. We'll find out. That's only one way to find out. Uh, 
But we are coming around right rapid the wow, look we are. We are really burning up that nose cone. Is that the nose of the wheat? Look, is that the nose? It is the nose, is it? Yes, it's the nose cone. The nose cone is indeed currently heating up. And it's heating up quite badly as well. Oh, there's one land there and wow, the scatter does make the the atmosphere look absolutely amazing. And the clouds from Eve, wow. Oh, it's beautiful. The uh, only thing to remember is that uh, Scatter and Eve, well, Scatter actually, has a slight memory leak at the moment, so it does cause crashes. But hopefully, we'll get that sorted soon because this is absolutely gorgeous. Right, so, I'll just going that way. We're going there. The island. Oh, the mountains. There's mountains there. We're way too high for that one there. So, we're going to go for the mountains. To the mountains, we say. Da -da 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 -da. Let's full throttle the engine up because we're not draining any liquid fuel right now. So as soon as we get any air, unless that's closed, no, it's open. As soon as we get enough air, we should be able to start uh, the engine up and we'll be able to fly. <laughs> that's assuming that the plane survives all the way down. I mean, we are still doing over 1,400 meters per second right now. <laughs> and we are basically pointing uh, prograde. Although saying that, my uh, overheat warning's gone away, so that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, maybe because we're so small, we're bleeding off speed a lot faster than I thought we would do. But I'm saying that we are doing 1300 meters per second still, so you know. Oh, there comes the moon. Hello, moon. Nice to see you today. <laughs> wow, this plane is a. It's just. Oh, there, the heat's back. Hello, heat. The. Uh, this plane is remarkably stable. I mean, we're coming in. It's an. It's obviously a very light aircraft, and we're coming in from a hundred kilometer high altitude and we are coming for re-entry and all we're getting is a minor overheat on the air intake I mean my god this thing is ridiculous I love this little plane <laughs> oh this little plane is beautiful come on 18 kilometers what can you do for me I thought we've lost we're not overheating again ah so it keeps heating up and then cooling down heating up and cooling down that's interesting but we are at 900 meters per second. We have successfully come through re-entry. So, let's put the nose down a little bit. Let's just see if we can get the jet engine to work. We are at Mac effects right now. Whoa, I'm we have a bit of heat on there as well. That is gorgeous, look at that. Oh. Let's just nose it down, let's get into the low atmosphere and we'll get the jet engine up and running. There it goes, jet engine is online. <laughs> Speed is still decreasing. We are coming down very, very rapidly. Uh, speed is coming down, but we are going to. I'm going to try and land over here. Can we pull up over here? Whoa! I wiped up all of the speed. Wow! Well, in that case, landing time. Actually, quick question. Uh, where are we on the map? Let's put the nose down a bit. Whoop. Are we anywhere near anything interesting? We are not. Okay then. Nose down. Here we come. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Oh, I got an idea. IVA run. Ha ha! Oh, this is the cockpit. I love this cockpit. Oh. Oh. Coming down. Coming down. And the answer is no, I won't land like that because I can know how to land. Now, I, this is a too beautiful a plane to crash in IVA view. I will be doing that in some later videos. We are coming down nose heavy. We actually accepting. We lost so much speed during that uh, descent. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Coming in. Coming in. Da -da 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 Gear down. <laughs> oh god. Engine off. Bring her into land and then we will have successfully managed to land this plane <laughs> from a orbit and re-entry. Oh my god, that would be an amazing thing for this plane. Is there anything this little plane can't do? Oh. Oh, this plane's absolutely amazing. Uh, <laughs> come on in, come on. I can hear bits crashing behind me, but I don't know what they are. Nose up, we are coming in. Come on, wow, where's the shadow? There's the shadow. Let's land this baby. Up. And. Up. And. Oh, ho, ho. Up and air brakes. There we go. All coming to a stop. 
the TX02 M TX03 MK2 successfully landed from a orbit. Oh my god, this is just the most beautiful plane. Now, I know what you're asking. Can we land it in IVA view? Uh, let's go for it. Let's do an IVA landing, shall we? I have actually I've never done an IVA landing in Kerbal. So Let's just take a bit out, a bit out, and take it up a bit as well, because I need a bit of run up just to make sure I uh, actually have to land it. You know, I think up to two hundred, then we'll do a, well, three hundred, then we'll do a roll. Ready, 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 and roll. There we go. Flip her over. IVA landing. Here we come. Uh, quick question first though. Whoop. Help. Right. Gear down. I just need to make sure the gear is down. Engine off, coming in. Da 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 da. Two hundred meters. Two hundred. Can I have a one fifty? I've got a one fifty. Can I have a hundred? No. Okay then. <laughs> one hundred meters from the ground. Fifty meters. Flaring. Too much flare. Come on. Come on, Peter. Don't embarrass yourself now. That's what that's what light is for. <laughs> oh, really? This plane's so sensitive it'll just hover. Okay, nosing up, stalling it. Come on, stall, stall, and brakes, and we're down. There we go. I was actually, in case you were wondering, I was watching the red altitude here and the vertical airspeed there. But there we go. We are now on the ground, Boop. and. Apparently stuck inside the craft. There we go. We are on the ground. There we go. Boop. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you guys can try the same thing. If you've got uh, maybe that multiplayer or the move together or something like that, maybe you can fly a dozen of these together and see what you can get. But, as usual, comment in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Thank you.